Hi, welcome to lesson five, where we are going to talk about the good agricultural practices in road gas production. And we are going to discuss the five major factors we need to consider when establishing road grass. The first factor is on land preparation. So how should the land be prepared? So here, you need to ensure that your seedbed or land is fine and free from weeds. So basically, one plow and two arrows should be enough. Also, use an unselective herbicide, such as Roundup. This one will clear the perennial grasses, such as coach grass. The second factor is plant spacing. How should the grass be spaced? So for this, you can either broadcast the seeds at the seed rate of five kilograms per acre, or use a row spacing of 30 centimeters when using a planter. Also, ensure to run the tractor over the seeded or planted land to ensure that the surface is firm and the seeds are in contact with the soil. This basically ensures that there is proper germination. The third factor is on plant spacing. How should the crop be spaced? So for this one, plant with 50 kilograms of NPK per acre and top dress with 100 kilograms of calcium ammonium nitrate. Apply the calcium ammonium nitrate when the crop is at knee high. For the first crop and after every cut, ensure that there is rain before you apply the top dress. Also consider doing a soil test to get a customized fertilizer recommendation, which will basically suit your farm. The fourth factor is on weed management. How should weeds be managed in a rose grass field? So for this one, apply a selective herbicide such as 2,4-D when the weeds are growing vegetatively, and remember to apply the herbicide early in the morning for it to work optimally. The fifth factor is on the right harvesting stage. When should the grass be harvested? So the right harvesting stage for rose grass is when the grass is at boot stage. But since it's not possible to have all the grass at this stage, we recommend that you harvest at 10% flowering. Thank you for watching. I have been your host, Elisha Kemboy, and I hope you will observe these good practices at your farm to optimize on further production. Bye.